Oh, it's the first time we ever removed a chair for a trophy, Kurt Busch. <laughs> well, look at you. You're a factor here in the history of the show. Making check marks happen. Look here, at huh? that. Thank you, though. No, it's beautiful to, to bring the, the Harley J. Earl around. And thanks for moving a chair over. For oh, well, to please. <laughs> Harley can have a seat here anytime. Or Earl, right? You refer to Earl? Earl, yeah. Harley J. Earl. Uh, he was a GM designer back in the 50s. Yeah. We're good friends with the France family. So that's how the trophy was designed. Now, you, you don't. You're not expected to lift this thing when it's handed to you, right? Did no, you? I have handlers for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 of course. It, like, not like the cup, you know, In like Victory the Stanley Lane, Cup. I, it's, everything had champagne and Monster and beer all over everything, and I, they wanted me to lift it up, and I was like, no. It's 40 pounds and pretty awkward. Yeah. yeah. Certainly, that I imagine Didn't uh, have a moment. that would be a slippery surface <laughs> if it is covered with everything that you said. These are good problems to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is beautiful. And no, it's it's really neat. The Daytona Trophy, it, it's something different with the prestige, the value, the yeah. history, yeah. and the allure of that spectacle of, of our race. And it's the great American race and finally won it. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you are here um, as the race uh, this week is going to be in Fontana. So yeah. I'm glad that you're here in person and you were kind enough to stop by. The radio audience returns with Kurt Busch and Earl next. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. I have two individuals to my right. One is a human being who won the Daytona 500 just a couple of weeks ago and is in Southern California for the Auto Club 400 at the Auto Club Speedway of California in Fontana coming up this weekend. And to his right is Earl, the trophy that Kurt Busch won for winning the Daytona 500. Good to see you, Kurt. Good to see you, Rich. Do I, do I address Earl? May I, may I address uh, Earl? No, he's real cash. Yeah, he's, he's cool. <laughs> now, you refer to this trophy as, as if it is its own entity. We're, we're right? having fun. Uh, it really, Daytona can transcend someone's career, and the respect of the trophy and the win mm -hmm. is what this tour is about. And why this all came up is I wanted to get a replica trophy yes. for my main sponsor, Haas Automation, and for Monster Energy, yes. for Ford. And when I called the track to order replica trophies, they said, no, there, there's only two that we make per year. It's a contract we've had for decades. And I didn't know that. It's my first win at Daytona. So Gene Haas, the team owner, yes. he gets one. Okay. And here's the other one. So we're on a, like a Stanley Cup tour of yeah. sharing it <laughs> and, and showing it off and letting him have fun. But also, like, I'm going to give it to the crew guys. They can go do whatever they want with it. and um, I'd like, has anyone, to your knowledge, done this before with the Harley J. Earl Championship Trophy? No, nobody's ever done it before. And so that's what is so much fun with our new social world and being sure. able to show people what is going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And that's where the trophy deserves to be out other than just sitting on a shelf somewhere. Well, where has Earl been? <laughs> Walk me through what, what <laughs> Earl has done, Kurt. First trip from Daytona's Victory Lane mm -hmm. was back to the race shop at Stuart Haas Racing in mm -hmm. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Second visit was to the engine shop with Doug Yates and Ford mm -hmm. for all those employees. So the 400 employees at that shop, the 300 employees over at the engine shop, and then it came on the race hauler all the way out to our next race in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And then he got crazy. That's when we he started picking up his own identity. He went and played craps. Come on. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> they he were, we're showing you a picture. You, yeah. put, you put Earl on a... <laughs> On the felt. <laughs> now, that's yeah. not the don't pass. You put him on the pass it's, line, right? I mean, oh, no, he had his own stack of 500s he was laying down. I've <laughs> never bet with 500s before. So Earl was, you know, bad habits are starting to bridge over to me. <laughs> it's like the hangover here. Yeah, like, he, did Earl go to Mike Tyson's house or, you no, know? No, he was, he was cool. He's like, all right, we're done. I'm going back. Uh, but, no, we went to Cub Spring training when we were racing out at Phoenix. Uh, I was able to take him out to greet the team. And So you're are you a Cubs fan? Big Cubs fan. Big Cubs fan. I've been uh, a Cubs fan 38 years. So congratulations. What a, thank you. Jeez, thank you. what a what a thank stretch you. for you then. It's, it's been unreal. The I, Cubs win for the first time in your life. I'm rolling deep right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you win the Daytona 500. Got married. You got married. Had Steven Tyler play at the wedding. Now, I come mean, on. Hold on a second now. Did you hear about that one? No. Yeah. Monster helped arrange uh, Steven Tyler to what show he sing? up. And, what did he sing? He, he sang 10, 12 songs. He sang everything. Wow. It was epic. The contract, I thought, was four or five songs. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's way cool already. Yeah. Full-on rock concert broke out. He kept going. Yeah. Yeah. It was, he did all the hits, all the Aerosmith hits? All the hits. He started with Dream On on a piano. 
Then oh. um, Angel was the song that Ashley and I wanted to dance to. And did you do that? Uh, oh, absolutely. Okay. And had a nice dance skit set up. And then uh, the parents danced to I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were tear jerking it. We were partying it up. It was every bit of the most perfect setting that you could have ever found. Now, a wedding would be highly inappropriate for Dude Looks Like a Lady, though, right? I wanted that for the groomsmen. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't play that one. Uh, but they did play Pink for the bridesmaids. Come yeah. on, Kurt Busch. It was epic. Look at you. Look at you. Things, this ever since I met Ashley, I'm telling you. Oh, that's neat. She's an amazing woman. I wish I could have had her here today. And yeah, we have would her love to show. meet her. Yeah. We'd love to meet her. So yeah. th that'll be for, for the next time. Next time Kurt Busch and the Harley J. Earl Trophy, known as Earl, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Again, radio audience, we removed the second chair that we normally have for a two-guest conversation. Um, and, and Earl, we put it right on top of a, of a, a metal chest. That's not... With you, is that from our set, or is it? We just, that's from here, Rich. Okay, that's a Rich Eisen show set. Okay, very good yeah, set like piece. The, I right like now. the set here. Too. Thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it's that. Very dapper. What was it like in Cubs camp? Because we have, we have Anthony Rizzo on the show tomorrow. Oh, nice. What should I What should I ask? It was Anthony a dream Rizzo? come true to dress out as a Cub, right? And so you Joe dressed Matt, out. Dressed out. Did batting practice. What number did you? Fielding have? practice. <laughs> I was number eighty-six. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you can nice. get eighty-six pretty quick. Yeah, I know, right. But no, hanging out with Montero, he was a big Cubs uh, or a car guy. Mm -hmm. And um, just with the team in general, everybody was just so casual. Yeah. Joe Madden said, you know, you're a champion. We're champions. That's why we get along. You couldn't, I mean, uh, that you had to be pinching yourself right I, there, right? I, I was. I was 12 years old that whole day, I and bet. I got to hang out in the dugout during the game. And so, and then just talking with the players, like Rizzo came over, he goes, I got a Bentley out in the parking lot, you know, you should take it around. I'm like, well, you got to jump in. Let's go. He's like, oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go. And I'm like, well, let's make sure the tires are on the older side because we're going to burn them down. <laughs> and you're going to have to put new tires on afterwards. Fantastic. Yeah. So Rizzo was driving shotgun with you behind the wheel of we, his no, car? No, we didn't do any of that yet. He's got a place down in Boca in uh, Florida. Okay. So maybe the off season next year. Well, where were you for game seven? Where were you? I was actually at the house. I went to game five at Wrigley when we oh, won. I was there. Yeah. That was, well, you were there, too. To, yeah. that, that was epic. And uh, at game seven, I was at the house, actually, in North Carolina. I was prepping for my next race. Okay. Uh, so, and then I was, actually, my rings were getting delivered from Tiffany okay. that, that day. All so, right. So, again, it's all a ring kismet. Look, the ring, ring, and then the ring. I mean. It was magical. Yeah. Jeez. That's incredible. So, no, it, so, but game five, though, I mean, Law was there in, in Wrigley. You, I mean, that had to be dicey, where you thought maybe you were going to be there for the worst possible moment it, it didn't right seem like mean, it was going to matter if we won or lost we we as cubs fans yeah. we've been through everything we've had our heart jerked out we, we've been able to stand up as proud as ever and then when you go right back to the bottom again trying to find this even line that's what theo epstein has done for all of us cubs fans right we now know the trajectory is positive mm -hmm. and what we achieved by going to the nlcs last year the world series it's like we're gonna get it and we got it this year mm -hmm. before we thought we were. And then the Daytona 500. Um, I have to tell you, though, that game five was out of control party. Did you go out partying afterwards game five? I actually uh, I made a mistake. I went to game four. Oh I saw gosh. the loss. I just realized it. So I saw the <laughs> loss, and I walked in Wrigleyville after, and it was – it was a somber, somber well, sight. It must oh, have been a we party went to where Murphy's you were. afterwards behind okay. center oh, Murphy's field. Murphy's is great. Murphy's bleachers, yeah. yeah. And I met this guy. He's like, all right, man, we're going in the kitchen. It's 2 a.m., and they're trying to kick everybody out. Just mm -hmm. stay right here. So we stayed in the back alley for a little bit, came back in. Literally, this door opens. There's a drum set sitting there. Eddie Vedder rolls in <laughs> and starts singing Go Cubs Go. Bill Murray rolls in. I'm there. I was there with Danica Patrick. She's a big Cubs fan. She's coming in on Thursday. Nice. She'll be here Thursday. And it, we're all 12-year-old kids talking Cubs stories, having fun. And then it's 3.30, and Theo Epstein rolls in. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was hilarious. Wow. And, and he was a few beers in. Yeah. And I, I had the total shock and awe moment. Like, thank you. Thank you, Theo, for doing this for us Cubs fans. I'm just so glad we we finally met because it seems like a lot of fun hanging out with you, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a right? roll. Yeah. Things are just. You got the key to your city, uh, your hometown, too, right? The mayor gave me the key to the city what of is, Vegas. What is the key to the city of Las Vegas? She look said like? it opens every slot machine. So we gotta go. Does it go. stay in Vegas, or did you bring it? Out yeah. with you? Did what, you leave yeah. the key there? Or? Does the key stay in Vegas? What, ha what? Right now, my PR guy has it, so I need to go get it from him. Damn straight, if it right. opens every slot machine. That's what they said. So. Wow. Let's go try. 
dude, I couldn't be happier for you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, well, like life is great for you and it's all working. And you got to stay focused though, on I do on the car and what we have to well, do sure. on the racetrack and mm -hmm. get more trophies, more wins. And we have to build towards our championship run with the way the new points are set up in NASCAR. But sure. Things are good. How do you like that setup? You have to race hard in the beginning of the races to gain those points, mm -hmm. but then you can bank bonus points mm -hmm. for the cha for our playoffs later in the year. Right. So there's there's this new format where you can collect and and puts do you like it? points in your pocket. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it it makes you run hard all the time. Okay. Well, that's what you want to do. Yeah. And then uh, and then you win races like the Daytona 500. Thank you for bringing Earl here, man. This has been a, a thrill and a pleasure oh, thank having you. you here. And come back. Don't just you know, be a stranger. For sure. Certainly, since we got to go. we got to hang out, and plus, from what I'm what I'm seeing, uh, certainly on uh, Twitter and other places, you know, you never know when uh, I might need tickets to the Backstreet Boys. Oh yes, you went yes. there too. Taking it for the team on that one. Yeah, they put on a good show. <laughs> they put on a good show. Well, isn't that what isn't that what NASCAR is about? Is team play and being a good team player. Well, that was for Ashley, my wife. Right. She was a big fan, and mm -hmm. yes, you drafted on that one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you enjoyed it, though. Deep down, deep down, deep down, though. Deep down, though. You, deep blush. down, you knew. Deep down, you knew. Look at that. It was Those a good guys, night. They, they threw down pretty strong. It was a good show. Those aren't gang signs you got up there at the back. No, there was boys. a 41. Oh, okay. Can, see, I know that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was camera this way or which way it was. Kurt Busch, uh, you can uh, follow on Twitter, at Kurt Busch. Thank you for coming on the show, and thanks for bringing Earl. It's a Absolutely. lot of fun. Absolutely. Thank you. And then Fontana. Uh, everyone out here in Los Angeles area, we're on an uh, Angels radio out here in Southern California. Fontana's a great spot. NASCAR here in Southern California at the Auto Club Speedway of California. That's great. I, I can't. You and Lightning McQueen will be out there, right? Nice. Ka -chow. Ka chow There you go. That's uh, Kurt Busch here on the Rich Eisen Show. Back with more in 60 seconds. Mike Del Tufo, you're up next. Oh yeah. Your your play by play career. Actually, do you have do you have time? Do you want to stick around? Sure. We're, okay. We're here for Kurt, you. you stick around. We're going to unveil Mike Del Tufo's play by play career with the uh, seat. No, I can't kick you and Earl out. This is just so much fun. We'll stay as I don't long want as to have any kick out. Oh, you got to go. Actually, you I've just been told you do have to go. No, it's okay. We'll bump whoever's next. <laughs> Bumped. What do I do? I mean, we can't uh, I don't want to swap paint with your It's probably your the next the next person Okay. In okay, very here, good. Yeah. No, it's not that, but <laughs> thanks for coming on, Kurt. Right, I appreciate thank it. Thank you. The Rich Eisen show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.